Bob asks, how much do you make a week off of YouTube? Boy, Bob is wasting no time. He wants all the juicy stuff ASAP, right? Welcome to the answers portion of the Q&A video that received some mixed feedback last week. We have no time to waste, so make sure you like and subscribe because we have over 20 randomly selected questions to get to. And speaking of 20, we're so close to 20,000 subscribers, so help your boy out with that sub. The first question comes from Aiden246683. Have you ever recorded a vid but didn't save it? Bro, it's like you wanted to drive a dagger through my heart right now. Yes, this has definitely happened to me, and admittedly, more more than once. It sucks too because one of them was going to be a complete banger with actual president secret service roleplay and when I was done playing I realized that OBS had not been running. Ah, thank you for reminding me. I may cry myself to sleep tonight. Wiki Wiki Channel asks, what recording software do you use? As I just mentioned, I use OBS by Streamlabs. Although I have a love and hate relationship with it, I've also tried video capture cards like Elgato, Blackmagic, and even some random ones off Amazon. But at the end of the day, OBS kept on producing the better results. If anyone has any recommendations though, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for ways to increase the quality of my content. Sunshine Plays Roblox asks, what were you like when you were beginner will you ever do sniper giveaways <laughs> i love this question because it lets me reflect back on the early days of zany come here sir you are under arrest quit running quit running from police officers that's against the law to answer your question in a few words i was lost in the sauce and confused about the direction of the channel there's so many gaming channels out there and all of them have their own unique spin on gaming so i was torn between being funny animated maybe even having a talking pet avatar using voice modulators oh man i truly had no idea now that i'm recalling all of this the second question in your comment is will you ever do sniper giveaways i'm not sure what sniper giveaways are but if you're talking about ss sniper wolf believe me boys I'm gonna be claiming that prize. Matt Roblox asks, how well do you know the whole map of ERLC? And the second question, do you like other role-playing games? Ask like Brookhaven. I'm about 99.9% .9 confident I know the map pretty darn well. I know about the caves, the waterfalls, the golden fish, the bunker. I know how to access the hills. So how about this? If you think there's something I don't know about, let me know in the comments below. And to answer your second question, I do like other role-playing games. I don't like the ones that are behind a million paywalls, but the open world and free environment role-play games do tend to suck me in more than others. Adamson Fan asks, will you ever collab with other ERLC YouTubers? I really want to, yes. It would be a short-term dream come true if I could be the bad guy or the antagonist in one of McSloth's miniseries. I think that would be so cool. That dude makes some seriously entertaining content, and I think both pools of audiences would really enjoy a collab. It really just comes down to time, boys, and unfortunately, that's something I don't have too much of. FBI underscore McGarrett asks, Zany, who was your inspirational YouTuber to start making those great videos? Um, I'll never say that there was one sole inspiration that led me to start a YouTube channel because that's actually not why the channel started. However, if we simply talk about people that sort of inspire me and maybe serve as a destination of where I want to be with YouTube, the answer is simple. I love Kindly Kian and Steve the Gamer. Both of those dudes are so down to earth and although it's obvious that perhaps Kindly Kian intentionally makes videos to cater to a younger audience, that dude can seriously play a game about colors and shapes and he's still gonna get a million views on it. So it would be great to get to that point myself. YT underscore Magnum Plays asks, why did you start YouTube? What's your favorite car in ERLC? This is the only question that I did intentionally pick to be after the last one, just because of the subject matter. I started YouTube really as a gag and talking to family about it. It was never supposed to get this far and it was never supposed to be about Roblox. All of my loyal subscribers will know that this was always supposed to be a GTA 5 channel that just never panned out. And my favorite car in ERLC RLC is definitely the Bronco or what's called the Rampage now, I believe. That car is 100% OP. Mr. Koala asks, are you going to college? If you are, which college and what major? And second question, if you aren't going to college, which college would you like to go to and what would be your major? Another good question, I'm not going to college nor did I finish college. I was attending college here in LA while working a normal nine to five job and little by little, my professional responsibilities kept on increasing. And of course, with increased responsibilities come title and salary changes. 
changes. And it finally got to a point where the benefits of my professional career began to outweigh the benefit of trying to maintain two lifestyles, that of a student and that of a business professional. So I've since put my schooling on hold and have focused on developing myself professionally while launching several personal business ventures on my own. I do hope to go back to school one day, but at this point, it's really more of a self-fulfillment type thing and not at all as something that will serve as a ticket to take me to where I want to go in life. M. Rahman asks, what car do you own in real life? Loyal Zanies will also know the answer to this one. I drive a BMW X3. It's a great car, but truthfully, a little small. This is also the first time in my life I drive anything other than a truck full time, and it's only because I bought two trucks back to back and both had issues and were bought back or heavily serviced by the dealership. Yes, you heard that correctly. This happened to me twice back to back. So having been through that, I decided to call it quits on trucks for a while and just be a normal person for a bit. By the way, don't tell your moms and dads to chase after every gray BMW X3 you see out in the streets of California. Wired Roblox asks, how did you become so rich in ERLC? Follow the tutorials, boys. Even before my top 10 things I hate about ERLC video, I was always rolling with at least $100,000 to $200,000 in the game just from hustling and grinding on the civilian team. Crime doesn't normally pay, but when you're in ERLC, sometimes it does. Pete asks, will you do more GTA 5? I really want to, but sadly this channel is not the venue for it. The videos I've posted about GTA 5 do not perform well at all. That's why I created the Maestro channel, where it's nothing but GTA 5. I'm currently not uploading, but if you guys want to see me play or make more GTA 5 content, head on over to the Maestro channel and subscribe. Getting more subscribers on that channel would definitely motivate me to restart that effort. Oh, and Pete, you might want to update your picture, bro. He lost. But I'll see you in 2024, boy! Just kidding, guys. We won't get into politics here on the Zany channel. Um, uh, in with, uh, with, uh, I don't know. Uh... Family Ortiz asks, Okay, so I have a question. My house is 10 minutes away from the store. Now tell me how it took my dad 35 years to come back from buying milk. Well, first of all, Family Ortiz, it doesn't sound like you were much of a family for the last 35 years. But also, are we related? Because this happened to me when I was three months old, except my dad said he was taking the babysitter home. Since then, his car has been parked in front of the babysitter's house, and I don't know why. Pizza5 McCallum asks, Will you ever create a Discord. Yes, definitely. This is on the short term goals for the channel. Short term being within the next six months. This is also a great question because it allows me to share something that I've been meaning to address. There's no official Zany Discord server. I've been DM'd easily over 30 Zany server invites and none of them have been done by me, my guidance, or consent. So just be mindful of that. I will let you know whenever I make an official server and whenever it does happen. T Gene D9 Dion asks, Do you love Turtle Zany? T Jean D9 Dion. I f love turtles, brother. I like turtles. Seagull asks, how much do you love your fans? I love my fans as much as each one of your mothers loves you. Just kidding. I love my fan base. It's great knowing that there's a group of people that I can directly communicate and engage with. The thing I'm most excited for is being able to conduct bigger and better giveaways as the channel continues to grow. I'm not saying we're going to turn into Mr. Beast over here or anything, but giving back has always been on the forefront of purpose and reason here on the Zany channel. Powerful Pikachu 7 asks, which video took the longest to make, if you can remember, which video did you enjoy making? The video that took me the longest to make is the over 80 tips and tricks video. My goodness, was that video exhausting. I've never been so confident that a video was gonna blow up as I was with that one, and then it totally ended up flopping. Oh well, you can't win them all. And the video I've enjoyed making the most is honestly any of the robbing tutorial videos. There's a double benefit to these. One, I'm helping you guys out by truly giving you pointers and advice, but two, while helping you, I'm actually making all the money you see on the screen so it's a win-win. Beluga asks, Hey Zany, how many cars do you own? I believe this question is in reference to ERLC, and if it is, all of them. I own all of them. Actually, I, I think I might be lying. There might be one in the law enforcement team that I don't own. And if this is in reference to real life, I only own the one at the moment, but I'm on the market for an older 1500 or 4 Ranger. Shameless plug here, if anyone has an 07 GMC or Chevy 1500 or an 06 to 2010 Ford Ranger for sale, hit me up. I'm 
I'm definitely on the market for one and I'm willing to travel anywhere within one state radius of California. Bob asks, how much do you make a week off of YouTube? Boy, Bob is wasting no time. He wants all the juicy stuff ASAP, right? I don't actually make all that much and I don't mind sharing the numbers. On this screen, you're going to see actual screenshots from weekly earnings over the past couple months and you'll notice that the amount varies from $50 a week to $200 a week. I know many, many YouTubers like to say that it depends on the click-through rate and the cost per thousand. And while yes, that's true, the real thing your income depends on on YouTube is whether you're grinding and people are actually engaging with your content. It seems everyone is afraid of saying that for some reason. I'll tell you straight up, on the months I've neglected YouTube, I make just over $200. And on the months I properly manage my time and put in some effort and make some quality content, I make over $800. I'm not sure why saying my content sucked last month is something hard for YouTubers to say. Death Chicken asks, what's your favorite thing to do on ERLC and is YouTube a full-time thing or part-time? A very timely question and to answer the first part, my absolute favorite thing to do on ERLC right now is to snipe. I know I'm totally being the RDM guy, the obnoxious guy, but I love pissing players off and saving the handcuffed criminal that's about to get sent to jail. And the second question, YouTube is neither right now. YouTube right now for me is unfortunately a whenever I have time thing. Based on the monthly numbers I just shared with you regarding earnings, I would need to make at least three and a half times the maximum I've ever made before I even consider saying to myself, okay, YouTube might be a full-time job now. And it's not because I don't like it. It simply goes back to my current profession being the one that actually pays the bills and puts food on the table. Michael the Pickle asks, would you ever see yourself starting a series where you played in various different servers, 20 to 30 minutes of actual role play? Well, Michael, it depends. Right now, it doesn't shame me to say that my retention rate is below average. This means that while yes, people are clicking on my videos, people are not staying to watch the vast majority of my video. And when people don't watch videos, YouTube thinks it's boring and therefore it buries my video in the graveyard of gaming videos. So what I'm trying to say is this, if retention goes up, if I discover the formula for making more engaging content, and if I find confirm analytics that this is something people in the Roblox gaming niche want, then yes, 100%. But until then, unfortunately, 20 to 30 minute videos would actually hurt the growth of the channel. Wow, how many questions was that, Zanies? I need water. Let me know if you guys want to see this style of video at least once every six months or so in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, long live the Zanies.